Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're cool. Uh, glad to greet you once again, and uh, welcome to a new week. <laughs> Hope you're doing well and uh, enjoying the sun. I know that the the weather has changed drastically, so uh, make sure that you are sitting outside and getting some of that sunlight. Um, it's important for mental health. <laughs> and ride your bicycle and walk. Uh, of course, be safe, but uh, our skin needs sunlight. <laughs> okay, so let's go look at our syllabus. We're at week 15. We're at module 15. And uh, as our larger, larger overarching theme has been the human experience, we looked at communities. We looked at technology and us. Um, and uh, this unit is going to be cool because it's going to have a linguistic uh, linguistic uh, consideration to it. And it's entitled Language and Identity. And you'll see how uh, these two uh, these two are interlinked with language and identity and uh, the next one, which is identity and learning. So I hope you enjoy this one as much as, as, as I sure uh, enjoyed making it <laughs> and choosing the materials. Um, so you'll notice the stamp stuff, just like you looked at my announcement. So I am going to have a uh, both assignment links for the two remaining stamps. Uh, I'm going to have that available on our last module and uh, so that's for this one. The finish line is up ahead. <laughs> We're only two modules away from the finish line. Can you believe that? Isn't that isn't that rad and amazing? And I hope you guys are doing well with your with your research paper uh, with your research papers. I know those are going to be awesome. You all had some cool ideas. Um, so yeah, what I was saying about this stamp is since I'm collecting them on the last module, um, but as you saw my message, I did get a message from the Success Center, uh, the Success Center um, director, and she said that April 30, which is already in four days, <laughs> is going to be the the last day that, um, which is Thursday, the last day that um, they're going to allow for uh, you to do the the work there at the Success Center. So do make sure that you have you have knocked those out uh, by then. Um, by April 30, because that's the deadline they've given. So, <laughs> uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's actually move to our canvas. Oh my goodness! So I <laughs> I have a Google Home. It's like a little little circle, the white circle things, and uh, sometimes, like right now, it just talked. It's it thought I was talking to it. <laughs> it's the veld all over again. I <laughs> uh, thought I was talking to it, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, so language and identity. Let's go ahead and, and click this. Um, so this is going to be a rad one. I don't know if you've ever discovered what the meaning uh, of your name is, but this is going to be an opportunity to discover just that. So uh, first of all, the first thing you're going to do here in this discussion board is write your first name, middle name, and last name. If you don't have a middle name, then you don't have a middle name. Um, but write out your full name, and then uh, you're going to write out this format. So first name, middle name, last name, and you're going to just, you're going to look online. You, okay, here's something I have to say. <laughs> don't write out your full name and say okay by writing out my full name for uh, first middle and last name, I'm going to find out a meaning. No, no, no. Do it one by one. So me, David. Okay. What does David mean? Um, what's the language origin? And if you get multiple language origins, then include that. You could say like, okay, mine is both Hebrew and uh, Aramaic or, or, or whatever else you see. Um, it's okay. If it's multiple language origins and if that's what you get, then that's what you get. Uh, and then get your name meaning. So first name, name meaning, language origin. Middle name, name meaning, language origin. Last name, name meaning, and language origin. Because here's the cool thing that I don't know if you realize or not, but we carry the stories of uh, of, of our ancestors, um, everything from our last names to uh, maybe your, your middle name is like a middle name of a grand uh, name of a grandparent or something. Like we carry on the story of our ancestors and even what part of the world they come from and, and where and and um, because. Uh, yeah, based based on the based on that, like it says, it has a lot to say about our own story that we carry within our names. 
Um, and it's such a neat thing. And, and, and actually, this reading, guys, this accompanying reading, <laughs> which, which has a very <laughs> intriguing and compelling like uh, title, like Leave Your Name at the Border, huh, what could that be about? Um, and you're going to see that it has to do a lot with names and, and the importance of names and, and, um, and their pronunciation. So this is the name discovery. After discovering your own story that, that you carry within your own names, then, then you're going to apply the the content, the 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 topic of of the reading, um, in 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 this section. So, um, that's what we have for this week. I I'm being intentional with not overloading you with a ton of work, because I know that you're all uh, working on your final drafts through the research paper. So I know that's going to be awesome. So that that's what we have for this week. Um, yeah, and I, and I look forward to seeing what what you uncover about yourselves within your own names. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that actually is it. All right, guys. Uh, other than that, enjoy your week and enjoy the sun, and peace.